Congratulations to all the graduates. My name is Janine Jansen, and I am here today to congratulate you, offer my advice, and my experience to date in my career. I'm here to talk to you about diversity, agility, my journey, and opportunities that I have taken to stand where I stand before you. I'm a people partner at s and Global. I work in HR, and I have for many years. I represent the first generation of my family to attend college, the third in this country. I'm a mother of three young children, a very passionate diversity leader, and I'm just thrilled to be here today. I'm proud to share this moment with you, the phenomenal goal of in, in your lives of obtaining an education. The degrees and honors you're receiving today represent tangible investments that cannot be taken from you. Take a moment and let that sink in. How does it feel? Let this moment crystallize in your mind as the first step in your next step to your career journey and your personal journey as well. The learnings you received in the classroom among your peers and professors, these are moments that will drive you and now help you navigate your future. And you will need all of these things to succeed and to support you. And for that reason, I wanna focus on agility, diversity, and how you pursue your next big step. I remember my graduation like it was yesterday, the anxiety of when a paycheck was coming in, what I would do with that paycheck, how I would live, how I would start to begin to pay off my student debt. If you have student debt and you're graduating today, know that you are among many and that the choices you have made are just setting the tone for your future as you pursue a career with the educational tools provided to you today. Consider your next steps today. If you have a job lined up, wonderful. Lean in, learn. And if you don't, it's okay. Network, look out there. Be open-minded about your next steps and what your next opportunities are. Network again until you are tired and then do it again the next day. The right fit is out there for you and you will find it as you are opportunistic and seek alternatives to your career aspirations. I'm thinking back now to my mentor. My mentor is a wonderful, kind, African-American man. He taught me the value of my true diverse self. I remember coming to him during my internship, saying, I'm tired, I'd like to go home. I worked a long day, I've written so many <laughs> papers today, I've called so many people, and he would urge me to just stop by a reception or a meeting greet, network, the tired, hot, younger meet in a suit in July in Washington, D.C., would think twice. But as his, at his kind, insistent urging, I would go. I met amazing people, people my age, people who were held such positions of power and who were diverse. I met the Secretary of Transportation, the Secretary of Labor at the time. I remember taking pictures with these individuals and it was just such an awe-inspiring moment, shaking hands and just really connecting. I'm young, thankful for this time that I had in my life to intern in Washington, D.C. The art of connecting with others, that spirit of continue to move forward and move forward and just continue to work your way through crowds of people to meet people. My mentor taught me the value of this, but he also taught me the value of bringing my true authentic self to the table. He always taught me that I'm a woman of color, I'm Mexican, I'm Chinese. I am all of these things, and yet I step forward with my passion, my passion of, of my next, my career, and that this ancestry that I have, it's powerful and that I should feel very comfortable in this authentic, true, diverse self. In my pursuit of education, this stood out to him. And when I interviewed with him, to this day, we connect and discuss this passion I had, this go-getter attitude, the inspiration to just continue to move forward. You know, as a child that is a first generation to go to college, you're not aware of things that are available to you, of paths that you can pursue. And he encouraged me to look down all, all corridors, all alternate paths, all paths of consideration, my first choice, my second choice. And he told me to just keep going. So to this day, we, we constantly speak. We talk to discuss current issues. 
and we text and we message and we are both so exhausted today when considering recent current events. Just the other day, he wrote to me, no justice, no peace. His approach, demeanor, you know, this professionalism, this moral ground that he gave me to consider my personal views. For this reason, I stand strongly and I say, Black Lives Matter. What is occurring in this country today is that we are encountering the racism, the way it is boiling over, the way that we define our experiences is outdated. We all need to work together to ensure that this stops. And it's your generation that is gonna to have to evolve what this looks like. We all need to work together. We all need to consider different points of views. We need to stand strong with who we are, support one another, be allies, and continue to share our stories. I have heard things such as, you know, surpri um, surprised at the fluency of my English, the lack of an accent, the where are you from? And when you look around the room of all your peers and reflect on your experiences together, I hope you take in the richness of that experience and stand firm on how you support your peers, support diverse points of view, carry that to the workplace, bring that value and results and show that your alternate point of views, they carry weight. We know that different points of view in the classroom, in the business room, they drive results. And we should not shy away from uncomfortable conversations at the risk of being a target. I encourage you to be strong, to be brave, and to think outside the box as you move forward in this moment. It's more important than ever, and we have a true opportunity to make a difference. As a recent college graduate, you have much to think about. As you move forward into a role that you have as a job seeker, consider what resonates with you. Is it fairness? Is it equity? Is it diversity? What ranks high on your list? Whatever that may be, I urge you to research companies or organizations that line up with your values. Do they have a diverse board? Do they walk the walk with their diversity policies? Do they honor gender pay equity? Seek a place that supports you for your full authentic self. Consider what that is. I know that for me, it's evolved over the years. As a young professional, there were different things that were important to me. There were things of who are my peers? Who's my boss? Who am I learning from? And as I've evolved and had more experience, it's changed into how can I get support to continue my career and learn as a young mother? And as I shape the minds of my children, where am I spending my time? Where is my time most valuable? And who is going to support me with what is important to me? It's not always possible to get everything you want, but it is possible to get most of what you want. And I want you to just evaluate constantly what that looks like and recognize that you will change over the years and that and that is good. And to reflect back on your younger self. The insecurity I described earlier when describing the paycheck moment is real. Do you consider not taking the first offer you receive? If it doesn't feel right, ask your network, talk to your family, your fellow classmates that you're here with today. Seek out alumni and your advisors. They will help you as you navigate this all important question of where you fit in. Maybe you take the role. Maybe you take the role and you learn and you grow and you continue to evolve there. And maybe you move to another role in another company, and that's okay. I urge you to be agile. In my career, I've taken opportunities that I never would have dreamed of. I started out after college as a legal secretary. I pursued my master's at night while working during the day and just leaning in as best as I could. A consultant once came in, heard my manager sing my praises, and before I knew it, I was interviewing with another big law firm for a campus recruiting position. This led to me to my first role in HR. To me, it was opportunistic and life-changing, and it began with an elevator conversation as I walked that consultant to our next meeting. I explained to her how I was passionate about diversity, recruiting, recruiting and the pursuit of my master's. And as we just exchanged phone numbers, conversations, 
the next move, that next interview, it came. Today, I'm in my fourth role at my company, and I've been there for seven years. Never underestimate a short moment of being kind and honest with your aspirations. I know the sponsors and mentors I've had in my company have given me a safe space to share my aspirations, and for that reason, I am in that fourth role. I am confident where I am and just so happy with the role that I'm in. And I know that will change again. Leading with your passion, your skill set. Being unafraid to learn and ask questions. Do ask silly questions. Do network. With a specific title or role in mind, if you do this, it may work. But more likely than not, I encourage you to lead with value and skills you bring to an organization. Know that the workforce is changing. I want you to reap the rewards of sharing what your whole picture is. What is your end goal in your mind? Is it years of experience in an area? Is it years of experience in several areas and bringing that all together? The future of work is here. It's changing the workplace every day. Evolving your mindset to meet the future of the machines, the artificial intelligence, the extinction of the jobs that exist today. We know that as we have five generations in the workforce and we move individuals out into retirement, we will have a labor shortage. The roles will be different, but they, won't, they will be available. I want you to think about your aspirations and the skills that you're seeking to acquire because they will fit into a role. And if you speak to the right person at the right time, and they may not have it today, but they may have it soon. And that's where we wanna really just share who our true authentic self is. You may be worried about the current economy, as you should be. We are experiencing a significant recession, which will impact where you start your career. I wanna encourage you to consider the advice I gave on agility, networking, and being your true authentic self. Think about how you can lead with willingness, skills, not necessarily career title aspirations. The role you aspire to may be available in the moment. It may not be, but it may be when someone in your network thinks of you or a sponsor thinks of you or your mentor. If you can close your eyes, imagine and aspire to what you will be in 10 or even 20 years. Memorialize this thought. Write it down today. Put it away. Don't look at it for 30 days. Revisit it, put it away again, look at it in a year. Consider sharing it with a potential accountability partner. Build out one goal at a time. Know it's the long game you're playing and not the quick win. Find your passion, own it. Lead with your authentic self. If you evaluate who you are, where you wanna be, and continue to just pursue it, things will turn around. I encourage you all to really just take stock in this moment, congratulate yourself on this moment, know that there are many who wish to be in your shoes and that you are in a position of power to take the next best step. Congratulations again and best of luck with all of your future dreams.